Hey guys, it's Stone W, and we're gonna go ahead and fix this umbrella leg. This umbrella leg has broke or got bent or something, so we're gonna go ahead and troubleshoot this. It's very easy to troubleshoot umbrellas. It looks really complicated, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how. Um, of course, this umbrella has been with us for over 10 years. It's a, actually a fiberglass um, travel umbrella, super lightweight, super awesome, and it's great to travel with and basically we want to save it. It has a lot of sentimental value. So here we go. We're looking at that one leg. Basically there are little, um, I guess, like tendons or actually there's just struts and stuff that actually hold this thing together. We realized that this one leg out of the six has actually got weak and doesn't really hold up anymore. We thought it was a bent lig uh, ligament. So we got our JB weld ready in case something broke. We thought a piece of the fiberglass plastic broke. So if you had some JB weld, you actually could make and repair a lot of that stuff or even, you know, kind of make your own plastic piece if you needed to. So we also have some three minute epoxy from Devon. This is actually pretty awesome too. This is more of a glue than anything else. Um, this actually sets in like five minutes and has a very, you know, very strong bond. So it's a 15 100 PSI bond. So either of these things will be very, very useful in fixing plastic stuff, fiberglass stuff, and you know, household things like this. And that's why I made this video. So after double checking it, I saw that all the uh, struts, those little metal things, are actually not bad. They're not bent or anything. I and their distance from each other uh, connection is exactly the same with the other working legs. So looking deeply into it, I actually took the strut off, checked it, and replaced it with another strut from the other side. It works. It still has a problem, it still bends and, and doesn't really keep up. So we thought that that metal uh, leg was actually broken, but it's not broken at all. What happened was that the adhesive from that metal, that leg and slider um, actually broke off. So there is no adhesive, it has to be glued back together. And you're not gonna just use super glue. Super glue won't be enough to actually hold that, um, that PSI and stuff. You wanna use something much stronger like this resin epoxy. So we're using this five minute epoxy um, very, very useful. Like I said, it's more of a glue than anything else. What we're gonna do is mask off the area so we don't have, to, we don't get accidentally get epoxy on the umbrella fabric or any other part or any moving joint or anything. So the handling time on it is about five minutes. The actual set and cure time is roughly around an hour or so to actually cure, but you only have about five minutes to work with this. So you wanna mask everything else first in the work area, and then you go put equal parts of the resin and the hardener together right next to each other, of course. You don't wanna put it you know, right on top of each other. Just put it next to it. You don't need a special scoop or, or anything. You just just need some a paper, a clean surface area. Make sure that your uh, surface is clean already. I already cleaned it with a little bit of alcohol, but you also wanna mask the area out so you don't you know accidentally drip it somewhere. I'm gonna get a piece of that paper or some of this uh, packaging and just use that as my mix. And all I need is a little bit of, um, you know, I usually just use some paper or fold up some paper to act as my applicator. If you wanna go technical, you use a Q-tip or something else. But I figure out a piece of paper rolled up is fine. Because what I'm doing is I'm just brushing it alongside of where I wanna glue it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slide that, uh, the loose uh, broken glue part back into it. That slider is bro broken. Whatever was bonding that fiberglass slider to the stick isn't there anymore. That's why it's not holding up that, um, the disc, the leg of the, the thing, and it's basically uh, limped right now. So after putting in um, a few swabs of it, I'm gonna go ahead and push it right in to make sure it stays there. Now, it takes about five minutes to working time, but after about an hour, it's hardened and ready. So I'm keeping the paper there just in case. Then I'm gonna remove the paper and so that, you know, none of that resin falls onto the uh, fabric. Now it's done, just about an hour later. So overall it works, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and it should be pretty awesome. I'm taking the rest of the masking tape off. I use painter tape, by the way. This blue painter tape is really good because it doesn't have a lot of adhesive and it keeps it nice and easy. To, it's easy to remove later. So I'm gonna go ahead and fully open it. I just wanna double check that the, you know, the adhesive work and it's nice and strong and tight. So very, very cool. Awesome, the adhesive, the epoxy worked really well against the fiberglass and the plastic. Very strong, very tight. This saved another umbrella from the landfills. We could reuse this for next five years and stuff. This is pretty awesome. And the main thing about fixing things at home is that it's a good sense of accomplishment, as well as you don't, you know, it doesn't go to waste. Something like this is really well built. 
and I don't want it to go into the landfill and stuff. So we give it an error, you know, lease on life, and we could use this again, which is awesome. It's a very, very compact, awesome little travel umbrella. Didn't want to put it in the, you know, in the, in the trash, and you know, no one else could be able to fix it except for you. So, anyways, guys, this is Tony W. I hope this, this how-to was very helpful to you, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.